So it's the middle of January. We've had a little bit of snow melt, which is kind of nice, but I am doing something you might not expect, which is planting poppies in my garden right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what's happening with the water in a little bit, because we're just out here doing a couple little chores. There's a bit of a break in the weather, needed some fresh air badly, so I thought we'd do a couple of things outside. First thing we're gonna do is, it is time to plant poppies. These are my poppies. So this is um, Papaver somniferum, also known as bread seed poppy, also known as opium poppy. Um, and it is the only one I have ever had success growing. So it's the only one I bother growing anymore because why am I fighting it? They're beautiful. I don't know what else I would need out of this world. So I'm also gonna show you the only way I have success growing it. Now, I know that some people have great success winter sowing these and in other ways. Um, and this is in a way winter sowing. I just have never had any luck doing the jug method with it. And really when you see how easy this is, you're gonna wonder why would anybody would bother making their life any more complicated than they need to because this is as simple as it gets for sowing seeds. I'm not kidding. So all of these are seeds that I saved um, from plants and all of these are seeds that came actually from my mom's garden. And that is the beautiful thing about poppy seeds. You can have as many seeds as you want. It is unbelievable how many seeds come out of one of those things. And they're the easiest seeds in the world to save because they won't come out until they're ready and you just, once they're rattling, you dump them into your hand. Most of my seeds are pink and I have, and they have done their thing and sort of created things. So I, what I do is when I see one that I like, I mark it with a bit of yarn and I make sure to save that seed. So that's where the single one comes from. I happen to really like this, um, the single form. I actually think I like it better than the double. Um, and then of course I have the double form, which is, which I have labeled in my method here, good double poppy. And then I have mixed pink poppies, which is just, I just grabbed a whole bunch of them. Last year I did get some that were sort of a hybrid that I didn't particularly care for. It was sort of a single with a little, little cup sitting on top of it. I didn't care for it too much. And then I also have in my little collection here, um, I managed to save a few of the purple poppy that I grew here, which I think was, it might have been Lauren's grape, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to sow these. If you can see in here, these are the poppy, I mean, you guys know what a poppy seed looks like because if you've ever bought a poppy seed or eaten a poppy seed muffin, um, that's what this is. So, I mean, I don't, I don't want them to all roll out of my hand here, but I mean, you can see they are tiny little things. And I happen to have a whole bunch left that I have saved. So I have at least enough to send, I would say, five people a packet of seeds. It's going to be the pink ones, and it's going to be a crapshoot as to what you are going to get. So if you are interested in me sending you a packet of seeds um, from the poppies that grow in my garden, leave a comment down below. Um, if you can just be in Canada or the U.S., that would be great. I don't know what's involved in sending seeds to another country right now. I think there are issues with that. So um, let me know if you're interested in them, and uh, I'll pick five people randomly, and I'll let you know, and you can give me your address then. Okay, I can't believe I'm even going to bother getting down on the ground to tell you this, because this is all you have to do. Take some of these seeds. Watch. Done. Planted. That's literally all there is. Throw them on top of the snow, throw them on the ground. If you have a really heavily mulched area, I think it probably would be beneficial to pull some of that mulch away. But otherwise, literally, this is a matter of taking these poppy seeds and sprinkling them around. Because think about it. Poppies are great reseeders, right? So how are they reseeding? Because they're doing exactly what I'm doing right here. And that's all you need to do. Let them do their own thing and they will come up. Now poppies famously can last for a lot of years in the soil. So if you don't see a ton of them come up the first year, they might come up the second year for you. I don't actually know which seeds I'm ever seeing because I just keep sowing poppies in the same spots in my garden. Um, now this is probably, if I had to guess, this tiny little packet is probably, I don't even know, 200, 300 seeds, um, which isn't all that much. Now when they do come up, 
you'll be looking for them. And just one day, what's gonna happen is you're gonna look down and you're gonna see this giant clump of these tiny little blue leaves. Those are your poppies. And you are gonna have to thin them once they're in your garden, but you don't have to like thin out each individual one. I mostly just thin out the clumps. And you can try to move the clumps around too. You never know what you have to lose. Um, in any case, that's how easy it is to do poppies. And I will tell you that I know it seems ridiculously stupidly easy, but I have tried growing poppies multiple other ways and I've never had it work. So I'm not gonna do anything but this. Okay, now back to that water jug, which is in this hand. But if you think I can carry a camera with one hand and a water jug with the other and lift the water jug up, you would be wrong. Hey, a quick thing about those poppies. The time to do that is now. Um, January, February, somewhere like now. And uh, like I said, just toss them on top of the snow. They should take care of themselves. Okay, so now we are in the garage. I can show you. I got the water right here. I've actually... Uh, not been out here to check on the plants that were overwintering in the garage. We did a video where I moved them in here. Talked a little bit about the hows and whys about doing that. I've not been out here since we put them in here, which was, I mean, when was that? End of, sometime in December, I think. Anyway, it's probably been at least a month since they've been in here. So I'm just out here with the watering can, and I'm just going to put a little bit of water in all these. Not a lot, not to soak it. All the soil is fully frozen in all these. Um, so it's just a little water to keep some moisture in there, nothing to flood anything or do anything else. Okay, so the very last thing we have to do is something I have never done in January. Um, there's kale in my vegetable garden that I can still harvest. Unbelievable. So we're going over the vegetable garden. Hey, Odin, you want to go to the vegetable garden? What's going on with these lips? Come on. Come on, Dorothy. Let's go. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I do have to say that I love a good snow thaw in January. It sort of hits the reset button for, oh, oof, hold on. Gotta fix that right now. I always feel like that's kind of the reset button for winter so that we don't get like 18 feet of snow piled up. Not that I think we ever get that much snow. Okay. I haven't been in here except for these few footprints that you see here, except to check on the kale a few minutes ago. But, check it out. There's definitely enough for a salad there for tonight, and it's not frozen. Last year, it was mush by November because we had a terrible super cold freeze. So this is a nice surprise. Odin. So check it out, my first official harvest of 2021. I am not complaining. Uh, this will become a salad tonight. My favorite recipe for kale is just raw in a salad. Cut it up, wash it, make a little salad dressing with shallots and lemon juice and olive oil. Shave some Parmesan cheese on there, put some toasted pine nuts on there. Mmm, it is going to be so good. And especially this kale, which is going to be nice and sweet since it's had obviously a long cold period. 
Okay, that's just it. A couple winter jobs in the garden, including the easiest way you will ever find to sow a seed in your life. Do let me know in the comments if you're interested in getting some of those poppy seeds. Like I said, I'll pick like five people. If I if I can get more out of those packets, I'll get more than that. And I'll uh, leave a, I will reply to your comment after I pick people. So look for a reply to your comment. And we'll get, say it's a few days after this video goes up. Let's be casual about it, shall we? It's just some seeds. So have a great day in your garden. I can't tell you how happy I am that I got to be in mine, even if it is getting just a little bit chilly out here. Um, and now for dinner tonight, I get food from my garden. That is a win. All right, have a great day. We will see you guys soon.